الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام على سید المرسلین اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الصلاة والسلام علیکہ یا رسول اللہ الصلاة والسلام علیکہ یا حبیب اللہ الصلاة والسلام علیکہ یا نبی اللہ وعلا آلکہ و اصحابکہ یا نور اللہ آقائد عالم نور مجسم شاہ آدم و بنی آدم او بلود نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم ہے سید that a person who sends 50 times daily durood or salutations or salawat upon me, I will shake hand with him on the day of judgment. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salatan wa salaman alayka ya Sayyidi ya Rasulallah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habib Allah. Dearest viewers of Madani channel, Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal, once again we are blessed with this wonderful opportunity to learn ilm e The topic which we are going to discuss is about the branches of Iman. Iman has many branches many different figures are mentioned in a hadith mubarika hazrat sayyiduna abu huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports that aqaid alam nur e mujassam sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam has said that iman has more than 70 branches O Iman has more than 60 branches and highest and greatest amongst them is La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah in other words to say La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah and the smallest or lowest of all of them is to remove something from the path which is harmful and haya shyness is also branch of Iman. In this hadith mubarika 70 or more branches are mentioned. Allama Badruddin Aini alayhi rahmatullah al-ghani he has counted 77 branches of Iman. It's very interesting to know these branches. Number one, to believe in Allah Azza wa Jal, to believe in His being, in His attributes, to believe in His oneness and to believe that there is nobody who is similar to him. Number two, to believe everything is a hadith 
except Allah. Hadith means something which is not eternal, which was not there and then it was created so it has a time of beginning. That is called Hadith. So Allah Azza wa Jal is not Hadith and everything else is Hadith. Number three, to believe in angels. Number four, to believe in all the books which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed and booklets which are called Sahifas or Sahaif. So four famous books, Torah, Zabur, Injil or Bible and quran -e kareem and then all the Sahifas, booklets which uh, many prophets have received. So to believe in all of them is also a branch of Iman. To believe in all the prophets alayhim salam all Anbiya, all Rasuls, 124,000 more or less prophets to believe in all of them. If one denies any single prophet, he cannot be a believer, he's out of the fold of Islam. So therefore, it is the branch of Iman that one should believe in all the prophets alayhim salam. Number six is to believe in good or bad destiny. To believe that whatever good or bad that is going to happen to us is part of our fate and it is written in our taqdeer and we must face it wholeheartedly and be patient and be pleased with the decision of Allah Azza wa Jal. Number seven, to believe in Qiyamat, the day of judgment. The questions in the Qabr and the Azaab in the Qabr. To believe in the scale of justice and to believe crossing the bridge of Sirat. That is a branch of Iman. And number eight, to believe in the promise of Allah Azza wa Jal regarding paradise and to believe that one would live in paradise forever and there is no ending. Number nine, to believe in Jahannam and to believe in the warnings and the punishment and to believe that disbelievers will remain in hell forever. Number 10, to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is our creator. He is sustainer. He is our Lord. So, we must believe in him and believing in him should be based on love, that we love him. This is also a branch of Iman. To have love and enmity for the sake of Allah, this is number 11. If you love someone, you love for the sake of Allah If you hate someone, you hate for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. 
سملرلی ٹو لو آل مہاجرین اینڈ انصار صحابہ اکرام ٹو لو آل اہل بیت نمبر ٹویلو ٹو لو رسول اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم ٹو سن درود سلام سیلوٹیشنز صلوات اپون بلوڈ رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اینڈ ٹو فالو ہز بیوٹیفل سنا ٹو فالو ہز سیرا نمبر تھرٹین ٹو اڈاپٹ سنسیرٹی اینڈ ٹو لیو شوئنگ آف این ہپوکریسی دس از آلسو اے برانچ فرام دا برانچز آف ایمان نمبر فورٹین توبہ ریپینٹنس اینڈ ریگریٹنگ اپان کمیٹنگ سنز اپان ڈوئنگ رانگ تھنگس نمبر ففٹین خوف خدا فیئر آف اللہ عز و جل ویری امپورٹنٹ کیریکٹرسٹک آف اے بلیور دیٹ ہی فیئرز اللہ عز و جل اینڈ دس از ریگارڈیڈ ایز برانچ آف ایمان نمبر سکسٹین ہوپ مس نیور بی ڈس اپوائنٹیڈ فرام دا مرسی آف اللہ عز و جل آلویز ہیو ہوپ And number 17 is not to be disappointed. So 16 is hope. And number 17 is not to be disappointed. Number 18, to be thankful. To be thankful to Allah Azza wa Jal for His favors and to thankful to people as well if they do good to you if ye if they bestow any favor upon you so you must thank them as well as it is mentioned in hadith mubarakah man la yashkurun nasa la yashkurullah the one who does not thank people he does not thank Allah Azza wa Jal. So it's very important to develop this habit of thanking. Number 19, to fulfill the promise, very important. It is the quality of believers and not to fulfill the promise is the quality of hypocrites. So as Muslims, We should carry the sifat, the attributes of believers, not the attributes of hypocrites. Number 20 is to be patient. And number 21 is to exercise humbleness. And uh, number 22 is to respect the elders and to show love for the younger ones. Very important characteristic of a believer that he would always love the younger one, the children, and show respect to the elders. And that includes parents and grandparents and great-grandparents and any other elderly believer. Number 23, to be pleased with the taqdeer of Allah Azza wa Jal. Whatever is in your fate, whatever is in your destiny, to believe in it firmly that This is what is going to happen. Number 24. To have trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tawakkul, very important. 
So this is a branch from the branches of Iman. Number 25, to get rid of takabbur or arrogance, to refrain from praising yourself and uh, not to regard yourself that you are free from sins. Always regard yourself that you are a sinner. Number 26, not to be jealous of anyone. So jealousy is a very bad sickness of rule. It destroys your good deeds. Number 27, not to have enmity with anyone without any reason. Some people adopt enmity of people for no valid reason, for no shari reason. That is not befitting to Iman or to believers. And num number 28, to get rid of being angry. In other words, unnecessarily, without any shari reason, person getting angry, that is a bad quality. So, the good quality which is regarded as the branch of Iman is to leave this habit of getting angry. Number 29, to refrain from dishonesty and thinking ill about others and cheating and deceiving. Number 30, to leave the love of dunya, mean get rid of this love for the dunya. To remove the love of wealth and status. So when you develop that, you develop a branch of Iman. Number 31, to acknowledge and admit with the tongue the oneness of Allah Azza wa Jal. Number 32, to recite Quran Kareem. And when we talk about reciting Quran Kareem, it means that recite correctly with the rules of Tajweed. And if you don't know that, you must learn while you are living, no matter what is your age, regardless of that, you should start learning and then reciting correctly. Number 33, to learn ilm, knowledge, because knowledge is light, and number 34 is to teach knowledge. So you should spread the light of ilm. Number 35, to supplicate. It's a symbol of your humbleness in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal, that you become a beggar in the court of Almighty. So making dua is branch from the branches of Iman. Number 36, dhikr and istighfar. Mentioning the name of Allah Azza wa Jal and seeking forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Number 37, to refrain from useless discussion unnecessary talking. And number 38 
is to keep your body pure and clean from janabat, hayz, nifas, to perform wudu and ghusl, making sure that your clothes are park, your place is park, your bedding is park, pure and clean. This is a branch from the branches of Iman. Number 39, to establish Salat, Farais and Nawafil and Qaza Salats all are included this. And number 40 is to pay Zakat and Sadqa Fitr and to display generosity, feeding people and being hospitable. Mehman Nawaz. Number 41, to fast Fard and Nafl fasting. And 42 is to perform Hajj and Umrah. Number 43 is to sit for itikaf and to search for Laylatul Qadr, to make an effort to search Laylatul Qadr. Number 44, in order to protect Deen, to run away from evil happenings and to migrate from the area of mushriks and moving to the area of believers. But that must be for the reason of protecting deen, not for the reason of earning more money as Many people these days travel from country to country or they migrate from one country to another country. But all that is based to earn uh, money or currency that has more value, that is more richer. The reason should be only for the hifazat of deen, for the, for the protection of deen. Number 45 is to fulfill mannat or vow that you have taken. Number 46 is to fulfill your oath, your qasam. And number 47 is to fulfill your kafara, pay your expiation. And 48 to cover your sitr in the Salat and outside the Salat. The, the sitr area which is declared for man and for woman, that must stay covered all the time. Number 49, to give Qurbani, to sacrifice on the 10th of Zulhijjah. And number 50, to participate in the funerals of Muslims. Number 51 is to pay your debts. Number 52, one should be truthful in matters, in dealings with people and to refrain from showing off. Number 53 is to bear evidence truthfully and not to hide the truth. And number 54 is to attain chastity through nikah because nikah protects you from committing sins. So this is one of the branch from the branches of 
ایمان نمبر ففٹی فائیو ٹو فلفل دا رائٹس آف یور فیملی یور وائف یور چلڈرن یور ادر ریلیٹیوس اینڈ ٹو ٹریٹ یور سرونٹس ود کائنڈنیس اینڈ ود گڈنیس نمبر ففٹی سکس ٹو ٹریٹ یور پیرنٹس ریسپیکٹفلی اینڈ کائنڈلی اینڈ ٹو ریفرین فرام دیئر ڈس اوبیڈینس نمبر ففٹی سیون از ٹو برنگ اپ یور چلڈرن ان اے نائس اسلامک وے ٹیچنگ دیم گڈ اسلامک کیریکٹر نمبر ففٹی ایٹ از سلا رحمی دیٹ از ٹو کنیکٹ یور سیلف ود یور ریلیٹیوس ناٹ ٹو کٹ ٹائز ود یور ریلیٹیوس نمبر ففٹی نائن to obey your elders and number 60 to run a government or any authoritative position with the justice so if in life you become a ruler or you become in charge of any department then people who are under you you must deal with them with insaf with adl with justice number 61 to follow the biggest jamaa of muslims as it is mentioned in hadith mubarak yadullahi ala al jamaa support of allah is on jamaa the biggest a group of muslims the main stream muslims must follow them do not follow these uh, splinter breakaway sects number 62 to follow your rulers of course it means that when they order you according to the commandment of Allah Azza wa Jal. And number 63, to reform people and uh, to put up resistance against rebellion. So people who want to destroy your good governance, your government where you are living peacefully, so one should put up resistance against them. Number 64, to cooperate with each other on acts of goodness. And uh, number 65 is to order goodness to command the acts of piety and to prohibit people from evil activities. And number 66, to establish hudud. Hudud means that in an Islamic government, the punishments which are prescribed for certain crimes, that must be established so peace and harmony can be brought into society. So people would know that If you do wrong, you will be punished. And number 68 is amanat, that when people keep trust by you, you should look after. And uh, to pay the fifth part from the spoils of war, which is the part for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And number 69, to return the loan back or to pay your debt according to the promise that you have made. And number 70 is to respect your neighbors, look after their properties, their wealth, 
their honor. And number 71, in matters between you and other people, you should exercise goodness and to earn risk halal, the halal sustenance. Number 72, to spend your wealth on good things, on good places, and refrain from wasting, from unnecessarily spending. And number 73, to answer salam. When someone says, Assalamu alaikum, to answer that by wa alaikum as salam is a branch from the branches of Iman. And number 74 is to answer the person who sneezed. In other words, when sneezing person says Alhamdulillah, you should say Yarhamkumullah or Yarhamkallah. This is a branch from the branches of Iman. And number 75, to remove harm from people, or loss from people, save them from loss. And number 76 is to refrain from amusement. And number 77 is to remove from the path anything that is harmful. At the end of hadith, haya is mentioned particularly that haya is also from the branches of Iman. Haya is the name of those characteristics which will motivate you to refrain from evil things and which will stop you from violating the right of the people. And the best haya is to feel shy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is that Allah may not see you at a place from which He has stopped you or from doing things from which he has stopped you. And this will happen if you have the ma'rifat of Allah Azza wa Jal. You recognize the power of Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. You believe in his attributes, in his sifat. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, you should feel shy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as it is rightful to feel shy. Make haya from Allah, feel haya from Allah. As a Sayyidina Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, we said, Ya Rasulullah, we make haya and uh, we do hamd of Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, this is not hayya. Rather, the haqq of hayya from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is this that your head and what is in your head, you should protect it. In other words, all your thoughts must be protected and you should not be thinking evil things. And protect your stomach and what is in your stomach. In other words, what is inside your body, you should protect. So not allowing your nafs to overpower you and your lust and desires to overpower you. And remember that after death, 
your bodies are going to be decomposed they're going to be rotten so whoever has done that he has fulfilled the right of haya feeling shy from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam has said haya and speaking less are the two branches of iman and speaking evil and speaking unnecessarily these are the two branches of hypocrisy and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam has said that indeed for every deen there is characteristic and the characteristic of islam is haya it means that every ummat have a special or exclusive quality which is more dominant over other qualities and that quality in islam is haya and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has also said indeed haya and iman are together when one is lifted the other one is also lifted so they are inseparable they are always together so we must work hard to develop this quality of haya feeling shyness feeling shy from doing wrong from oppressing from violating the rights of others we make dua that allah subhanahu wa taala make us ba haya that we develop this quality of haya amin bi jahin nabi alamin sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam sallu ala al habib sallallahu taala ala muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam brilliance of ramadan 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 brilliance of ramadan